Now we have a panel on uh, violence uh, specifically uh, and uh, it's, uh, aspects of uh, various aspects of violence. So would uh, Jacqueline and uh, Cindy and uh, who else do we have? Asma, come to the <laughs> podium, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, once again, everyone has the uh, biographies of these wonderful women, so I won't go through details. Uh, each of them uh, has been working on violence against women for many, many years, and their distinguished careers have been, uh, you know, bridging various aspects of activism and academic and scholarly work. And uh, uh, what I want to say about each of them is just one small thing. Uh, Asma Khadar was actually the woman who put the issue of honor killing on the map. For that, her country has both triumphed and paid. On the one hand, they think as if uh, people think around the world as if Jordan was the place of honor killing, which really is by no means the case. Uh, the thing exists everywhere. She brought the attention to it, which had that negative aspect, but the real positive aspect of it has been that finally something serious has been done about that issue. Asma's career is wide-ranging from founding human rights organizations, find, founding Siggy Jordan, which is WLP's partner organization, to being in the cabinet. And I want to say both about uh, Jacqueline uh, from Brazil uh, and Asma, uh, that both of them have served at the highest levels of their government uh, in the cabinets, but at the same time, they have uh, been founders uh, of uh, non-governmental non organizations and leaders of movements uh, within their countries and within uh, the regions. And this bridging has been extraordinarily powerful and important. And Jacqueline also has had an extraordinary role both in the study of the context and, and uh, challenges and strategies related to violence and also about doing practical things to uh, uh, alleviate uh, violence. And Cindy, last but by no means least, is our uh, head of our partner organization, WLP's partner organization in Nigeria, Baobab for Women's Human Rights. And Cindy also is a longtime activist leader, and she has had uh, a tremendous uh, presence on the scene, international scene. She has done a lot in terms of uh, mobilizing women in the region uh, and also women in Nigeria. One of the most important things that she's doing, and there are a myriad of things, but one of the most important things she's doing is mobilizing young women, especially the university women, through leadership to uh, help alleviate women both in Nigeria and elsewhere. So without much ado, we go to uh, the panelist first, Asma Khada. <laughs> 